The sound of an army helicopter can mean various things to various people, depending on which side one belongs to. A combat chopper's sound could instill fear into the enemy, leaving him a worried man scurrying for his personal safety. The same sound could symbolize the arrival of a savior, a helping hand, hope and happiness. Army aviators fly several sorties or missions every day to service troops in high altitude border areas. Some of these are meant for casualty evacuations or CASAVAC in military aviation parlance. They jump into action within moments of being notified of casualties, including combat related injuries diseases as well as non-battle contingencies. The army aviators and their lean and mean flying machines serve India's frontline troops round the clock, round the year. Sunshine, snow, rain and thunder. Nothing stops these aviators from reaching out to their fellow soldiers, manning forward posts on snowbound peaks and ridges. Many a times, a few minutes here and there can mean the difference between life and death. They rush to the spot immediately to help transport their bodies to the nearest base hospital. The aviators do not lose any time. The pilots do not even step out of the helicopters. They keep the motor running and fly back the moment the patient has boarded. They land at the hospital's helipad right in time. For all such missions to succeed, 100% synergy between these highly motivated men and their helicopters is a must. For they both need to always perform at their optimum without fail. The most satisfying uh, experience for an aviator is to pick up a casualty and bring him back home safe and to see the look on the casualty's face that he's being saved. With the soldiers in safe hands, they are back at the Siachen Saviour Squadron at Leh after successfully concluding yet another rescue mission. Operations like these are routine tasks handled by army aviators day in and day out. These flying knights in their shining armors belong to the Army Aviation Corps. As they say, guts is the prerequisite to be here. Army Aviation is an extended arm of the ground troops in the third dimension. Established on 1st November 1986, the Army Aviation Corps is the youngest corps of the Indian Army. Previously, Army aviation duties were performed by Air Observation Post Officers of the Artillery. In the 24 years of its existence, the Army Aviation Corps has done a yeoman service to the nation during war and during peace. All officers serving in the Indian Army can join the Army Aviation Corps to become pilots. Once upon a time, when I was not an aviator, I was sitting on that post. We have come from them. You know, whatever they are doing on the ground, we are doing the same thing. The only difference is that we are exploiting the third dimension. Once upon a time, I was going through the jungles for days on, days on, for those patrolling and carrying out the task. Having learned all that, done all that, I've just got another platform now to exploit. I identify in totality with that man who's sitting on the ground because he's my man who's sitting there.
Just yesterday, I was looking at somebody coming to help me for a particular situation. So you can understand the kind of uh, uh, trust and faith that man has in me and, and that passion that I have to deliver for him. Every army chopper pilot is thus a seasoned combatant with flying skills. The aviators never flinch before getting into their flying overalls and zooming off to the theater of action. The aviators also perform a wide range of battlefield operational tasks like picking up and dropping off soldiers. Diops is a very important uh, and also an emotional exercise for us. Uh, we have uh, six lives on our hands and uh, we have to be very careful that when we fly, we keep not only the aircraft but also the uh, men who are hanging below us clear of all kinds of uh, obstructions, especially wire obstructions because they are very difficult to pick up, especially during uh, the night. Aviators thus work as force multipliers by providing rapid mobility of men and material at short notices. Army aviation is an important part of the maneuver arm of a field force commander in the third dimension. During wars, the Army aviators operate with all the arms of the Indian Army as parts of its all arms concept. Army aviators play a tactical role in carrying out aerial reconnaissance of the battle zone and pinpointing enemy targets with precision. In wartime situations, the helicopters accompany armored columns as air observation posts. The helicopters usually fly ahead of the attacking columns and swiftly conduct an aerial survey of the battlefield. The data generated by them is used by the mechanized forces and the gunners to improvise, improve and redefine their operational strategies and attack the enemy with precision. The guns are placed at one end and the enemy is quite far off. And you are in the center on a helicopter observing the enemy. So you can direct the guns to fire at the left, right, as you are able to see the enemy from a height. Fire by order! Fire by order! They command their machines over plains, deserts, dense jungles, mighty mountains, and forever frozen battlefields. We are in the highest battlefield of the world, and flying is extreme here. The air here contains only a fraction of the oxygen that it has in the planes. The basic difference comes in the oxygen level. A fuel is burning basically. You need a constant supply of oxygen to burn. So flying in high altitude means you have to be very calculative of everything. How much weight you are carrying, how much of power do you have in hand. Even a small mistake could be catastrophic. You can have a case where the fuel you mixture is not there and doesn't burn. And your engine can just stop. No error. Error here means it's gone. In forward areas, the helicopters must always be in a fighting fit condition to service the troops. Average temperatures in this cold desert fluctuate between 35 degrees Celsius in summers and minus 60 degrees Celsius in winters. Extremely dry air, high solar radiation levels, loose sandy soil and thin atmosphere 
All of these put together take a heavy toll on these helicopters. For troops serving in inaccessible and often hostile border areas, these are their only connections to the world outside. The Indian Army's Aviation Corps has created a record of sorts by being the only army in the world to routinely operate helicopters at these seemingly impossible heights. They bring food, medicines, essential supplies and above all, letters. A highly appreciated article in the soldiers' lists. Expression on their face. It was a very basic thing if you're in a city. He had some letters from home. But the effect and the expressions in a field area where 24 hours you got nothing, you only got snow around you, was different. So it was a good feeling. The helicopters disappear immediately after their Santa Claus act. After landing, the pilot does a mandatory check of the helicopter for its fitness. This is a standard operating procedure. Every sortie flown here is a lesson learned. And every safe landing that we make is an accomplishment in itself. <laughs> 